Okay, so I'm spinning this clockwise. I'm gonna go ahead and start the wheel clockwise. I'm gonna go kind of slow at the beginning and I want to hold this thread while it spins, two, three, four pushes of the treadle, then I'm gonna let an inch go in. And one, two, three, four, push an inch in. One, two, three, four. And I'm just letting, I'm not holding it real tight here with my finger. I'm just stopping the spin from continuing down to these threads. You see these threads aren't, aren't spinning at all. But the thread up here is getting a twist in it. And you can see that it twists upon itself. So it, it's being twisted. But these aren't because I'm stopping it with my thumb here. And I'm just feeding with my left hand and holding it a little bit taut with my left hand, but not too much. i got to start it again. This is where I have problems with my thread breaking is when I start back up because I start pulling with my right hand and that gets me into trouble. I'm not talking while I'm doing this because I'm counting. I'm sure more experienced spinners can concentrate without having to count in their head the number of treadles, but since I'm new at this, I really need to concentrate. So this bit of the silk on the bobbin is called a bump of thread or yarn. At this point, it's just thread. And with reeled silk, I guess you don't want to get too big of a bump on your bobbin. So at this point, I could probably reel a little bit more, but what I'm going to go ahead and do is move to the next hook. So I'm just going to take it off of this hook and move it across the bobbin to the hook or across the um, flyer to the next hook down. And it's okay that it crosses over. It's not going to cause any problems. And then I'll create a bump here and create bumps all the way down until I reach this hook. I've tried to hook it onto this hook, but then the bobbin cuts my thread. So this is as far down as I can make the bumps before the bobbin starts interfering and it, it breaks the thread just like that. So start it back up again.
And when I'm not pushing my finger in, I'm not feeding the thread at all. I'm just holding on to it. And it's being fed when I push my finger towards the orifice of the flyer. it. I got a lot more to do to fill up this bobbin, but as you can see, I am definitely getting a twist in my thread. <laughs> 